Hey YouTube, this is Appalicious, and today I'm going to do a tutorial for brand new Mac users moving from Explorer to Safari. So I'm going to open up Safari here. And here is the Safari interface. This is my home page. And up here you can see all of the different bookmarks that I have. Here is the URL of the web page that I'm on. And this is how you minimize a window. And it moves right down here into your desktop. This is how you close a window. And it's just gone. And this button is just to kind of center it in the middle of your screen. I usually just like to keep it free so I can move it from pretty much anywhere I want. So. As I said, these are my bookmarks, and the way you bookmark a page is say you go to a website you like, like apple.com is an awesome website. If I wanted to add it so it was easy to access, I'd click the plus, it'd come up right here, I could title it whatever I want, apple.com, you'd add it to your bookmarks, it would show up right here, and just quick, easy access. So say I went to Facebook, I went right back to apple.com. Really easy access, but I already have it, so that's how you get rid of it. You just drag it off. And right here, you have the refresh and then the RSS feed for Apple. It basically is just shows all the Apple hot news. It's really cool, really easy to access. Um, everything new about Apple. Uh, refresh. This is a uh, spotlight. Recent searches in Google, um, and basically, it's a really easy way to search Google without having to then go to the Google site and do that. It's just really quick and easy, and so yeah. Um, this over here is more into bookmarks. It can view your other bookmarks that you have that don't fit in this toolbar right here. So that's that. And then here is where you view all of your history, bookmarks, and RSS feeds. It's basically everything Safari. So here you see my history, what I've done recently. It goes back a really wide, all the way back to 2009. It just really is great at keeping data. And then you can clear history by going to history, clear history, show all history, easy access. It basically shows everything that was down here. And then here's the bookmarks bar, which basically shows everything that I have up here, as you see, CNET, CNET, which is a great website if you're looking for technology reviews, both. Mac, Apple, camera, everything. It's overall a great website. And so here are all my recent searches and bookmarks. And here's the bookmarks menu, which is basically just an extension. The bookmark doesn't go up here. You just put it in the bookmarks menu for websites that you enjoy, but don't access very much. And it'll show up right here. I currently don't have any here. And then next, you have your address book. Uh, the only one I have is Apple Incorporated and Bonjour. You don't really need to worry about Bonjour. It's basically, I don't know, sort of like an AIM kind of thing. It shows up for iChat. You can use it for iChat. That's probably not the best description of it, but that'd be my best analysis of it. And then RSS all RSS feeds. There's nothing in here right now. I just, if you want to, uh, you go to the RSS up there. And this is a really cool feature of Safari. It basically is a panel, kind of like awesome way to show recent sites I visited or the top sites as it labels. And it's just really quick, easy access there. I wanted to go to lockers.com. If you would like a lockers invite, just message me with your email. What lockers is, is it's a great site to Basically, you log in, get two points, answer a daily question, get two more points, and you earn points and you can earn prizes like MacBooks, iPhones, iPods, 
pretty much everything technology. You can earn posters, experiences, PS3, Xbox 360, video games, DVDs, just anything. Also, custom designer clothes. It's a great website. It's free. All you need is an email, and you've got it. So if you would like an invite to Lockers, uh, see, you have to get invited. You can't just somehow sign up. I don't know why they don't let you sign up, but you need to get invited. So if you would like an invite, uh, just message me or leave a comment below. And so that is pretty much all you need to know about Safari. Oh, I almost forgot. This is the back button to basically just show you what I like. Everywhere you've gone, say go to Google, type something in, Google search, uh, go back. It's really easy. Uh, very similar to Explorer in that sense. So that is Safari. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.